This is the city. My city. You might think it isn't much of a city. Sure doesn't pay my bills anyway. My name is Dick. R2 Dick. I'm a private detective. A private detective with no client, no cash, and too many bills. But things will pick up. They always do. Soon, somebody's gonna come to my door with a big, juicy case worth of big bucks. Any minute now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, forget it. May as well sit around and read the newspaper. Now, where's those bunnies? Miss Wire, please. I must see Mr. Dick. It's an emergency. And you're in luck because he's available. At least he went into his office. He hasn't came out. I meant not unless he went out the window, and he usually doesn't do that. Could you get him? There isn't much time. You bet. I'll get him right this minute. That's what he pays me for. Well, when he can afford it. Archie, you have a client. What should I do with her? Really? Yes, really. I guess you better send them in. Okay. I guess I'd better look busy. I'll look like I'm reading this newspaper. Good morning, Mr. Dick. I have a problem. My daughter has been kidnapped. They left this message. Okay, meet me at the ice cream shop at 5 and I'll see what I can do. That's only an, an half an hour from when they are threatening to kill her. So? What kind of uncanny detective are you? Look, I have things to do. Well, cancel these things that you have to do. Make me. What do you have to do? Shuffle some more of your papers? Look, lady, I'll take the case if you give me $1,000. I don't have that kind of money. I want it anyway. If you don't give me the money, I won't find your daughter. What do you think? I have a money tree growing in my backyard? Fine. How about $500 right now on the desk? You're a rude man. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of money. You're a liar. I thought you said you didn't have that kind of money. That isn't yours yet, so I lied a little bit. I'm leaving now. Meet me at the ice cream shop at 5 o'clock sharp. What's the problem? She lost her dog. Next time she should put a leash on her. Oh, how much did you charge her? $2,000. Is that what you intended to get out of her, or is that what you really charged That's her? That's what she's gonna pay me. What if she doesn't pay it all? She'll pay it, or else. Or else what? Or she won't see her daughter. Hi. We have a problem. What problem? A missing daughter and her mother and so on. What are we supposed to do that? We're going to meet her at the ice cream shop at 5 to soak as much money out of the suitcase at the park. While we're there, can I get some ice cream? I'm dying for a rock and roll. Who said you were Yo mama. Oh yeah, she did call and say that earlier. Nope, that's just my mama. Your mama's dead. We already solved that case. Oh Arch, you're always talking trash. And I'm talking right now. Get ready, friend. We're going down to the ice cream shop. Okay, I could use some ice cream. How's your ice cream, Frank? Ice cream is always good. That Virginia ham better get here by the time I'm done, or else. <laughs> or else what? You go back to the shirt. office and watch show papas like Barb? Whoa! <laughs> it's such a klutz. Come on, get up. Look what we got here. It's a client with a kidnapped daughter. Who isn't too anxious to find her? And no ice cream. Can I get some more? Okay, crybaby. Get yourself some ice cream and then go to Miss Virginia Sam's house and see what we're gonna do. I'll be there, but you have to pay me an ice cream. Open up! Hello, what can I do for you? Why didn't you come to the ice cream shop? Oh, come in, I'll explain it. I said you! Came in for some ice cream. But but you 
did. They shot you. Oh, I'm so fine. It isn't that big a deal. This happens all the time. That guy's gone. There's nothing to worry about. You go boom now! Uh oh. It's a deal, man. You boom! <laughs> Look out, a bomb, man. Mother. This is the last breath I'll ever take. I've been through so much in my short, insignificant life. I've been shot at least 10,000 times in the leg, in the head, in the arm, in the heart, in the chest, in my foot. What was that for? For being an idiot. Just die already, man. I got things to do. Can I have some ice cream first? I like ice cream. I really like vanilla and chocolate and strawberry. You know what's really good? That ice cream with <laughs> You know, you're not a very likable man. I hope they have ice cream in heaven. That's it. I'm going to get those guys, man. Nobody beats up my partner except for me. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, Ralph Lunch. We've kidnapped this girl today, so we're a little short-handed. I understand completely. It is very important to have the correct number of guards for a girl taped and gagged to a chair. But there might be a lot of waiting involved. How about if I play everyone some music on my guitar? That wasn't very polite. She rudely interrupted my music. Yeah, let's teach her a lesson. She certainly must be taught a lesson in manners. And I have just the teacher right here. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, and I got a teacher too. Ha ha. Leave her alone. She's worth a lot of money untouched. <laughs> Don't worry, Harry. We were just kidding. We were? Really? Yes, you were. We don't have time for this sort of thing. And look, here comes Fred. Who's Fred? I don't know Fred. Oh, that's Fred. Yeah, I'm Fred Sykes, and don't you ever forget it. Tell us how it went, Fred. Did you scare the woman to death for not showing up with the money? I guess I did. I blew up the whole house. But there was someone else there. A detective. She hired a detective. Not just one detective. Two of them. I recognized the guy before I, sh I shot him up. He's Frank Furter. He works for Archie Dick. Archie Dick? He's nothing. We'll teach them all a lesson and scare Virginia Ham some more, too. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, what a nice snack. You know what's good after a nice snack? A nice cool drink from a nice cool fridge. Hi, Archie. How was your visit to the ice cream shop? Oh, Miss Wire, they shot up Frank and then they blew up my house with me and Frank in it. We just jumped out of a four-story window when we tried to blow us up again. Then Frank got ran over by a car. Oh, that Frank. He's always up to something. But he is dead. Well, that's different. Well, it was supposed to be a surprise. And to keep the record straight, girlfriend, Frank also fell down on the sidewalk after slipping on some ice cream. Oh, how terrible. Not as terrible as what I'm going to do to the people who did this to Frank. I need you to do me a favor, Barb. I need you to keep Virginia Ham here so I can go do some investigating. I know she'll be safe with you, girlfriend. Sure, Archie, no problem. We'll have a good time. We'll do girl stuff. We'll eat ice cream, do our nails, maybe clean the company guns. We'll take good care of Miss Virginia Ham, won't we, boy? I don't care what you do. I have to find out who's blowing up houses and partners around here. I'm sorry, I should have told you. Told us what? The kidnappers, well, he is my ex-husband. Ooh. Give me 
a break, girlfriend. It's true. My ex-husband, Harry Pitt, he kidnapped our daughter because he was jealous that I got so rich and he wanted part of my money, which was never going to happen. Well, why didn't you tell us that before? I was too embarrassed. That's why I didn't show up at your meeting. And now Frank said it's all my fault. Yeah, you can't argue with that. You wouldn't know where to find this crummy Harry Pitt, would you, man? I'm terribly sorry. I would, I would not know where to find him. Just be terribly rich. That is going to cost you if we have to pay the money to get your daughter back. We're going to have to use your money. Hey, that's not fair. Not fair at all. She's your daughter, and it's not really a big loss for me. It's happened before. Fine. How much do you need? A big loser like you? Six thousand dollars. Where do you think I'm going to get that kind of money? Like I said, it's not a big loss for me. I guess my best bet is to go back to what's left of my apartment and search for clues and my money. Don't wait up. I may be a while. Could you get this good for nothing dog out of my way? You be nice. Puppy here's a fine guard dog. Whatever, girlfriend. I'll see you when I have information either about Harry Pitt or Frank. He is very mean, isn't he? Yes, he's mean. But you couldn't pick a nicer or mean person to have on your side than Archie Dick Private Eye. I don't like mean people. Want some ice cream? It looks like the explosion came from up there. Hey, I'll tell you where the explosions came from. I'm in charge. Look. I just want to solve this case. The explosion came from Archie Dick's place. Couldn't happen to a nastier guy. Archie Dick is just a private dick. We're cops, the real thing. You don't sound like a cop. Cops are nice. You sound like a cop from a cheap detective movie. Ah! Hi, Archie. Hi, yourself. What happened here? It appears that my apartment building blew up. I can see, but how? I don't know. I don't know. I just got home from work. My client is Virginia Ham. Her daughter was kidnapped. So she says, I made, I made her mad earlier. I think she might have something to do with this. I heard people's voices. They sounded like bad guys. They said something about stealing money from you guys. Oh, and by the way, we scraped your partner up off the ground and sent him to the hospital. Want you know which room? You mean he's still alive? Okay, what room? In what hospital? Room 115 at Wishard. I got a witness. She saw the bad guys blow up your house and follow them to their hideout. Where is it? It's behind Walmart. You better not go over there. It's our job. Well, what if I do? What are you going to do to me? Go home and get out, get out of our business. We'll arrest you if you don't leave us alone. This is our case. Whatever. Where are these guys? Maybe the cops were wrong. I guess not. Help me, help me! Help me, help me! What the? Hold on, kid. I'm busting you out. Oh, help me, oh help no, me. man. Help it's me, a recording. Me. Haha, I've got her now, Archie Dick. I knew you'd show up here, but I moved the girl somewhere else. Hi Frank, are you feeling alright? What a lovely room that gave you. How'd you know I was here? Archie called and told me. He also said to come see if there was anything you needed. Look Barb, when they ran me over in the alley, the car smelled like five piles of horse poop. <laughs> That's terrible. You know what you need? Some nice flowers. Oh look, here's some. Here's a closer look. Oh, I'm sorry, let me help. What do you think you're doing? Don't take that tone with me. I'm helping my friend Frank back into his bed. Oh. I think you've helped enough. That's enough. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. We can't have people beating up our patients. Oh, all right. Are you going to be that way about it? Help me get him back in the bed. 
I'll be leaving. Can I come, boss? Can I? You've messed me up enough, Dick. Time to die. I don't suppose you're under arrest for the ply here. Stop shooting! Stop shooting! What's the matter with you? Don't you know guns are dangerous? Get him! Archie, are you there? Archie! That's my cell phone. I wonder who... Archie, I just left Frank. He said the car that ran over him smelled like horse poop. That makes me think about the old horse glue factory. Good job, Barb. That's probably where they are holding the girl. You go over there right away and find out. What about the bad guys? They might jump me when I get there. I don't think that'll be a problem. Why not? Because they're trying to jump me right now. Really? Well, have fun. I'm going to go rescue a kidnapped girl. Wee! We've got you cornered, Archie Dick. This is it for you. You've got any crime to do, you'd better make it fast. You couldn't hit water if you fell out of a boat. Dick, I thought I told you to stay out of this. Maybe we should arrest everybody, including Archie Dick. Who would solve your case for you? He's got a point. Hey Dick, get out of here. We'll handle these crooks. <laughs> Why won't you die? Well, this will take care of you. Say no, sucker! <laughs> <laughs> we Are you sure we ought to be here? Isn't this a job for your detective friend? We can do anything Archie can do. Let's see if you can find your daughter. <laughs> Jasmine, my baby! Oh, oh they found you! Take him up! So you're actually good, huh? That's good. I haven't been able to get to him. You'll do just fine. Ow! That's it, bad boy. You're under arrest. And he's gonna be back, baby! <laughs> what do we do now that we're rich and famous? Bring peace to the Middle East, man. Archie, be serious. With all that reward money and the press we got, we can do anything. And right now, I think I'll count my money. Good. Can I have some? What did you say? I can't hear you all of a sudden. I'm dead. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not impressed. Ow. Frank, get a grip. He's been strained since his accident. <laughs> Makes him more interesting. Me money. I love the smell of me money. Check it out. We have a visitor. Excuse me. Is this the Archie Dick Agency? I need some help fast. Hello, pretty mama. Ow! My knee! What, what, what can I help you with? Mr. Dick, I need your help. It's all down on that sheet of paper. Please, Mr. Dick, I don't know what else to do. Okay, I'll help. Oh boy, here we go again. 